about St. Benedict and the rules that he created. Uh, Benedict of Nursia was a Christian who was honored by both the Catholic and Anglican churches in his rules, uh, rules of St. Benedict. It explains the rules and um, roles of his monks. These rules became very influential religious rules in Western Christianity. Benedict was also called the founder of just Western monks in general. So um, the summary of St. Benedict's rules, um, rule number one um, definitely concerned the different kinds of monks and the manner in which they um, chose to live. Um, rule number 22 discussed the particular way in the monks should sleep and how they should sleep at night and the rest, how much rest they should actually get. Um, rule number 39 discussed and also expressed the concern on the amount of food that the monks should eat on a daily. And rule number 40 discussed the amount of wine that the monks should consume each day as a daily reward. And rule number 55 discussed St. Benedict's concern for the amount of clothes and shoes the monks should wear um, every day to vary on the air's temperature. So there's four kinds of monks, which are the Cenobites, Anthropites, Serapites, and Gyratory. The Cenobites live in a monastery and serve under a rule. Anchorites are the ones who have learned to fight the devil. They are well prepared in the army of brothers for fight of the hermit. God is helping them. Serapites are very bad monks. They have no rule and they keep faith with the world by their works and they are known to lie to God. The gyratory are the worst are worse than the Serapites. They have wretched way of living. It is better for them to stay silent than to speak. They are guests in different monasteries for their, they stay there for four days at a time and they are always wandering. Um, the significance of rule number 22, which is talking about um, how the monks should all sleep. Um, when taking, uh, when talking about the way the monks should sleep, there were many different rules that they had to follow. Um, they all they like they all had to sleep in separate beds, but if they could all fit in one room, they would all sleep. Um, they would sleep. They, if they couldn't fit in one room, they would sleep by the tent of monks. Um, they must also keep one um, candle lit throughout the night. Um, but, um, this kind of just shows like how precise all the monks were because they um, even in such like, a simple thing as like sleeping, they still had all these rules they had to follow. How those rules were historically significant. Uh, Benedict's rule of St. Benedict uh, heavily influenced religious communities throughout the Middle Ages. His rules became the most influential rules in Western Christianity, shaping the future of Christianity in Europe for centuries to come. This, in turn, impacted communities that Christianity spread to in other parts of the world after his, rule, his rules were widely spread in Europe, which increased Christianity's influence. Uh, the rule of St. Benedict was by far his greatest and most influential achievement to the Christian religion, and that's how we generally remember.